In this video, I'll discuss the relationship between bar area and patron capacity in planning a successful commercial bar design. Later, I'll answer the question, what is the most efficient and popular bar shape? Coming up. Hey, Rick Usbell again from Cabaret Design Group, where I share my ideas and tips on bar design, draft beer system design, and product reviews. Later in this video, I'll give you today's takeaway. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below. Now let's jump into the show. How large should a bar be and what's the right size for a given patron capacity? To clarify, when designing commercial bars, occupancy is governed by building codes. However, this video specifically addresses the spatial relationship between bar size and patron capacity. Let's begin with this example. How large should a bar be for an occupancy of 100 patrons? When designing commercial bars, I think of bar size in terms of the number of bartender stations needed, not the actual area of the bar itself. There are many ways to make a bar fit within a given space. Many venues staff their schedule for 50 covers per bartender. So for a bar with a total occupancy of 100, translates into a two-station bar. The primary constraint for many buildings is the physical space allocated for the bar. So this is what ultimately dictates its shape. Efficient, well-designed bartender stations is the key to designing commercial bars. Consider the following examples. Number one, two-station shotgun bar. This bar design is becoming less popular. One bartender is utilized during slow periods. An additional bartender works the other station on busy shifts. The bar shown in this example, seats eight, is nearly 24 foot long and requires 260 square foot of floor space. This bar could easily become a three station bar with a return leg on one end. Number two, two station L-shaped bar. This bar is a popular bar shape because it's more engaging for patrons. This bar is more compact and therefore more flexible to buildings with limited space. This bar seat six is about 18 feet long and requires 180 square feet of floor space. Number three, three to four station island bar. This is the most popular bar design as it enables patrons to interact with people on all sides. This bar is approximately 485 square feet and will accommodate 28 seats. For those who are looking for space allocation numbers for facilities planning, here's a chart that summarizes all of the above. If a facility's occupancy is greater than 250 patrons, service bars such as this one by Advanced Tabco are an excellent approach to handling peak crowds while minimizing fixturing costs. In terms of seating efficiency, the shotgun bar and L-shaped bar require the largest area of at least 30 square feet per patron, while the island bar is the most efficient at only 17 square feet per patron. From an overall perspective, the island bar is the most efficient design, the most engaging, the most popular, and therefore the best overall design. See you next time.